Oh, hi, Drew. Hey, Emily. How's it going? What do you have right there? Oh, nothing. Hmm. Do you want to see? <gasps> yeah. Yeah, I want to see. Ah! Huh? Ah! You have a flux capacitor. Yeah. Why do you have a flux capacitor? You know. Ah. Hmm. Is it dangerous? I mean, uh, should I be wearing goggles or something? I mean, I think that thing is nuclear, right? No, no. It contains and stores the accumulation of time flow enough to create a burst that punches through a time barrier. What? Well, anyway, uh, where do you get the money for that? That thing's pretty expensive, right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You took money out of the budget, right? You took money out of the budget. Oh, no. Well, Fu's going to be mad at this. He keeps putting money in the budget. And we keep taking it out. Ah, oh, this is going to be bad. He's going to be angry. Eh. Ah, oh, this is not good. If we were good people, we would take this flux capacitor back and get our money back and then take that money and put it in the budget so no one would know. Nah. You're right. Let's go find 1.21 gigawatts of power. Ha! <laughs> Hey, Camp Pencil Pointers, welcome to part two of our Simple Shapes lesson. That's right! Welcome back, everybody! That's right, and I am sorry about your eardrums. Yay! In the last video, we talked about Simple Shapes and what we used to start our drawing. So, Ruby, can you tell me what those Simple Shapes are? Yes. Um, a fish? A bicycle and Cthulhu. Wow, that is not even close. Yay! In our last video, we used a cone, we used a sphere, and we used a cube to make a whole new character. Oh, yeah! Frankenstein, kitty cat! That's right. And now we're going to use those same shapes to make a whole different character. What is cool about art is that it is open to interpretation. One person can see something in this group of shapes, while another person can see something entirely different. We all see things from different perspectives, and that is what makes art so exciting. Ruby, what do you see if I turn this group of shapes around? An anteater wizard riding a broom! All right, Camp Pencil Pointers, here we go. A cube, a sphere, and a cone, same three shapes, turned around. Let us draw a brand new character. Just like before, I am going to start with the face. I'm going to indicate the eyes. And like I said before, normally I would throw down a few more guidelines in blue to help me in finding where these parts are. But like before, I'm fairly confident in what this guy is going to look like. So I'm just going to wing it right now. I'm going to use that cone to draw that big anteater nose. I am drawing the arm right now, and normally I would use a cylinder drawn with a blue line to help give me a guide for this arm, but I am just going to wing it right now. Keep in mind the cloth of the cloak that he is wearing is draping over his arm. So it's just like if you were to drape cloth over a cylinder, what would that cloth do? How would it react? As an artist, you have to try to translate that to get the idea across. Adding some more texture to the cloak, giving it a worn appearance, kind of ragged. I'm going to add a little motion to these ears to give the indication that he is flying. I'm going to draw the mouth now and I'm going to fill in the dark. Just to add a little more contrast to the character, I think I'm also going to fill in these pupils for the eyes. Typically, I would add more shapes in blue line when I draw the feet. I probably would have added a half sphere for the foot and maybe a cylinder for the arm. Yeesh. 
And I probably should have added a blue line to this broom because it's looking a little wonky. But it's good for now. I don't want to go to a ruler because I think that takes all the personality out of the line work. And brooms are supposed to be a little beat up. I would typically add a blue line cone probably or maybe a cylinder for this tail but I'm just gonna wing it. Let's draw the back of his head and I'm gonna add some texture to the cloak. Little dots here and there. Some lines and the back side of this sleeve. Some more texture and dots. And let's finish this off and I am going to sign this and call it a day. Here you go, Ruby. Your ant eater wizard. Stunning. You're too kind. So my camp pencil pointers, I'd like to see what you guys can do. Take these same simple shapes, put them together into a form and make a whole new character. I like to see how creative you can get. Yay! So to view more drawing videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit camppencilpoint.com for news and updates. And there you could find a link to all of our social media. So you could follow me on Instagram. You could follow Emily on Instagram. And you can find more pictures of random animals as wizards. Yeah, okay. Until next time. Bye, everybody! Too far, Emily. Nope, maybe not. I was just kidding. <laughs> Stretch. My skull was caving in, it was weird.